Hi, I'm Lenny Henry, and we're playing Quickfire Questions. What name would I give to my weapon? Um... <laughs> Meet you and Bonnie, who are the two most famous players to play for Swansea City. The only name that's coming to my mind is Vivian. I don't know, I don't think I would call it that. Jeff the, the Bat. Kardashians have named one of their dogs Sushi, and I love Sushi, and I thought it was a really cool name for a dog, so... Sushi. Ooh, I think we did give it a name. I, I think they're referring to my staff of knowledge, which is beautiful. And um, I can't remember what it's bloody called. We called it The Answer. I don't think I would be a liberty to make that decision without conferring with my celestial twin and partner in crime, Sindral. Sindral has all a shared magic with Zakare, so I'd have to confer with her. <laughs> if I could pick a creature to represent my clan, I would pick koalas. So I've been told because of my bald head and my uh, laid back nature, I sometimes resemble a turtle. So uh, I would go with a, with a turtle coming out of the shell there. <laughs> Whip it! I would make it penguin clan. Penguins. Which doesn't sound as sort of formidable as dog, serpent and raven. Just waddling about on the continent, just, just being adorable. I love penguins. My heart's gonna set on dog clan. I have to be have to be loyal to the guys, you know. Which song snaps me out of beast mode? Uh, Case of You by Joni Mitchell. I just get really sad. We built this city. We built this city in century. I built this city. Wannabe by the Spice Girls because of the first, like the opening. I thought that would really like that would snap you out for sure. Spice Girls. I wanna make you holla holla. That's too old school. Scrap that. Kendrick Lamar's We Gon' Be All Right. We Gon' Be All Right. Be humble. Sit down. Be humble. I don't think we can say that. Sit down. Yeah. Sorry. I think I would feel pretty, pretty safe with Zachary. Sian, played by Michelle Yeoh. Fierce. Meldoff is a force to be reckoned with. I would like Meldoff just because I think we'd have a right fucking laugh. Michelle, yo, I would like to defend me in all battles of life. The lark can kill 15 blokes while she's sipping a pint and doing needlework at the same time. You don't mess with the lark. We are not dying here. If I could travel anywhere with um, the powers of a monolith, it, it would most likely just consistently be my bed. <laughs> oh, there's so many places. Dudley. Dudley in the West Midlands, near Dudley Zoo, we've got a canal. Come on, get a monolith up there in the town centre. Somewhere under the ocean, then there's a breathing problem. I think I'd probably travel to Iceland, where some of our beautiful show was shot. I'd probably go back and have a look at the dinosaurs and see what's going on. If I got to trade weapons with another member of the Seven, it would be a tie between Soul Reaver and Brother Death's cleavers. Just to wind up Brother Death, really. They just look so like sort of terrifying and impressive. So I, yeah, I think cleaver in each hand would be great. I'm gonna go with Meldoff and Gwen. I just think right. it's the coolest hammer in the world. But obviously it's not as good as the cleavers, but I have to choose one, so yeah. Sophia Brown has these gorgeous little daggers and you'll see what, the way she moves them are just, it's effortless. And I think there's something quite free about that. I, yeah, I think that would be quite cool. Now you can't tell her this, right? But I probably would get the two blades. I think I want that big stabby axe thing that Fial's got, because that would be a very good thing for cutting pies into quarters. Brother Death's cleavers, because I am i don't have a lot of finesse. <laughs> oh. ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! 